let's uh, install WordPress and we'll get your site live on the internet. So go to this HostGator email you got with your account information. And right here where it says your control panel, let's click on that link. It's going to ask for a username and password and these come from the email. So username right here, so just copy this. Copy this password right here. Paste it and log in. It's going to take you to your control panel for HostGator. Here in the control panel, I can either click right here where it says get started with WordPress today, or if you scroll down a little bit, software and services, quick install, both of those will take you to the same place. Just click on that. And now if we scroll down, install WordPress, click that. Scroll down again, install WordPress for free. They have some other things they're trying to sell, but all you need to do is click install WordPress, install for free. And here it takes you and it so if you've never registered a domain before or if you never sorry installed WordPress on a domain before for the very first time usually it will auto populate in here I have a ton of domains and subdomains so I'm just gonna pick the one that I want to uh, install WordPress on but uh, it should auto populate if not just use the drop down and select the domain name that uh, where you're gonna install WordPress well, yeah, and again, if it's the first time, then you only have one. And in here, put an email, the uh, blog title, which you will be able to change later. And then a username, and then your first and last name, and then just click install WordPress. And it is all complete. So click view credentials and so this is how you get to the site you uh, just installed WordPress on so let's click on that and so right here I can put in my username and password to log in and start editing it and here's the username so I'll put that in here and then here's the password and make sure you don't uh, accidentally exit out of this browser or this tab or anything so that you have the username and password although a lot of times I'll send you an email with this uh, these credentials but make sure you keep track of them so that you can log in and then I'm just gonna log in and now WordPress is installed on my site and this is now the admin area where I can I can customize my uh, new WordPress site